Welcome to this brief tutorial on the Sudoku game, or puzzle. It helps with your logical thinking and deduction processes in your mind, and it's good to keep your mind alert and awake, and counting numbers and all, and so it's a, a nice way to pass time. This is going to be a very easy tutorial. Uh, this is for beginners. I assume you already know the very basic rules about Sudoku, and that is that uh, first of all, each individual square of a 3x3 three three square must have all the digits 1, one through 9, and they cannot repeat. Also, each row must have the digits 1 through 9, and they can't repeat in a row. And each column must have 1 through 9, and again, you can't have any repetitions. And so, I assume you already know that. And I'm just going to walk through this puzzle. I have never done it before. I've never seen it before. So we're looking at it together for the first time. I'm just going to walk through how I would do this. Um, there are more difficult puzzles with fewer clues. I believe uh, 17 is the minimum number. Um, and for those puzzles, it's a little trickier because you have to add numbers not only uh, in a square where a number must be, but also where a number can be. So for instance, in this puzzle, since it's so easy, you'll find that I'll, I'll write a number, let's say in this square, just throwing out there, I would write a little number 8 here and a little number 8 here, which means the 8 must be in this square or this square. But in those more difficult puzzles, I would write something like a 2 and a 4 and a 6 can be here, a 2 and a 4 and a 6 can be here, and a 2 and a 4 and 6 can be here. And so writing where a number can be is a little more difficult than writing just where the numbers must be. But for this puzzle, I don't believe we'll ever have to do those can be um, fill-ins, just the numbers where they must be. And so with those brief introductory remarks, let's start our puzzle. The first thing I notice is a lot of 1s here. I, I like to start with a number where um, the puzzle already provides me with a number. So the puzzle is providing me with a number 1 here, and a 1 here, and so I'm drawn to conclude that I must put a 1 down in this box, uh, in this column somewhere, because the 1 here prevents this square from being a 1, the 1 here prevents this square from being a 1, therefore the 1 for this square must be either here or here. But before I go writing any 1's in here, I notice that over here there's a 1, which means uh, this entire row already has its 1 right here, which means the 1 for this square must be in the middle. So I hope you follow that. So I might put my 1 right here, nice and big. I know that that's right. That helps me sometimes to figure out this square here needs a 1. It can't be here or here because of the 1 I just wrote in. Nor can it be on the bottom because of this 1. Therefore, the 1 for this square must be on the top. And there's only one place it can be, which is right here. So I write my 1 in here. And so you can see how you work around. Here's a 1 here. This square here needs a 1. It can't be here because of this 1. It can't be here because of this one. It must be here or here. I see the 1 here prevents me from running my 1 here. Therefore, the 1 must be right here. Now I'm sounding like that man on the movie Princess Bride. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And that uh, completes my, my 1's here. It checks with this 1 and this 1. And so the only 1 in this square, every box now has a 1. It just so happens to work that way. Uh, let's see, another number is a 9. 9. The 9 must be on the left-hand side. You see that? And this 9 here means this can't be a 9. This 9 means this can't be a 9. This square must have a 9 right down here. I write in my 9 nice and big. Which means, because this 9 is in the middle, and this 9 is on the bottom, the 9 for this square must be on the top. It can't be in this square because of that 9. It must be here or here. There's nothing above telling me that it can't be in one of these two. So I'm going to write in a little 9 here and a little 9 here, telling me that 9 must be either one of those two places. Later on, I'll cross off one of those 9s when I find out which one. Uh, let's see. Knowing that the 9 must be here or here means that the 9 for this square, it can't be here or here because of this one. It can't be here or here because of this one. It must be here or here. So I'll write in my little 9s here. As well. All right. Here's a nine. Here's a nine. Here's a nine. That's already done. Here's a nine. Here's a nine. Here's a nine. That's already done. 
And now the other number in the square is a 7. Like I said, I start with the numbers that they provide me with and go on. There's a 7. There's a 7. There's a 7. Already done. 7, 7, seven's done. 7. Alright, this one uses 7. It can't be in the middle. The bottom's already done. It must be in the top. But this 7 here means it can't be in the middle. It must be in the left or right. So we do a 7 here, small, and a 7 here, small. Since it's on the top, well, that one's already done. It can't be in the middle. On this square, it must be the bottom. But this 7 here prevents this from being a 7, so the 7 must be here or here. Alright. Since it's in the middle, this can't be a 7. 7 must be here or here. And this 7 doesn't tell us anything. This 7 here tells us the 7 can't be here. It must be in the bottom here. And if the 7 is in the bottom, this 7 here means it can't be here. But it can be here or here. So we will put 7 must be here or here. And since the 7 here is on the bottom, watch this now. The 7 here is on the bottom. I don't know if it's this one or this one, but I do know it's on the bottom. Which means this square cannot be a 7. Because these two... Whichever one it is, is going to cancel it out, which means the 7 must be in the top. But we already determined the 7 can't be in the top middle because this one, therefore this has to be a 7. Which means that this one cannot be the 7. Which means this has to be the 7. Alright? So that's how that works. Another way of uh, figuring out puzzles like this is to figure out a row that's missing only a few numbers. Like this row here is only missing a number here and a number here. So we figure out which numbers is it missing. It has a 1, it doesn't have a 2, it has a 3, a 4, 5, it doesn't have a 6, it needs a six, 7, 8, 9. So it needs a 2 or a 6. The 2 and the 6 have to be either here or here. Can the can 2 or 6 be here? Yes. Can the 2 or 6 be here? Yes. Nothing to talk about. So I'm going to write a 2 and a 6. A 2 and a 6. There's another one that's missing. Only two digits, this row here. I've got a 1. I need a 2. A 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and an 8. He's got a 9. So what do we say? A 2 and an 8? So 2 and 8 has to be here or here. I see this 8 here. tells me this cannot be the 8. Therefore, this has to be the 2. Which means this has to be the 8. Does that help us here? Here's an 8 on the left. An 8 in the middle. It means the 8 must be on the right. Here or here. Put a little 8 here and a little 8 here. Eights. I'm looking at my 8s here. Okay. This box here is missing two numbers. We have a 1, it needs a 2. 3, 4, 5, it needs a 6. 7, 8, 9. So a 2 and a 6 have to be here or here. Can the 6 or 2? The 2 cannot be here because there's a 2 down here, which means this has to be the 6. Which means this has to be the 2. Alright. 2, 2, and 2 works out. This square is only missing one digit, so that's easy to figure out. 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's a 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. I like to make sure I have all the digits, is why I count. Uh, it's easy to make a mistake sometimes if you don't count up all your digits to make sure you're not duplicating any. So we said we needed a 4. This has to be, no, what did it say? It has a 4. It needs a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we're going to write 5 right in there. Which means this can't be a 5. 5 must be one of these three places. This 5 here tells me it can't be here or here. So the only place left for the 5 in this square is down in the bottom. Again, this 5 tells me this can't be a 5. This 5 tells me these two can't be a 5. The only place left for the 5 is right here. Which checks with this one. This is on the top. This is on the bottom. Our 5 for this square must be in the middle somewhere. It can't be in this square because of this 5. And it can't be in this square because of this 5. So look at that. We found out where our 5 for this box has to be. Right there. Alright. That was simple. This box uh, is missing 3 numbers. 8, of course. we got a 1, 2, 3. It needs a 4. It's got a 5 and a 6. 7, 8, and 9. So, a 4, a 6, and an 8. The 4 cannot be on the bottom. 
because of this 4. So the 4 must be here or here. The 6 could be here, cannot be here, or here. So this 6 tells me neither of these can be the 6, therefore this has to be the 6. And remember we said that this 4 means this can't be a 4, which means this must be the 4. Which means this is left to be that 8. We've kind of figured out and cross off those 8s to avoid any confusion. So there's a box done, there's a box done, there's a box done, three whole columns done. And the more you do, the more easier it gets. This row is missing only one digit, so that should be easy to find. It has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, it needs a 6. This must be the 6. And that matches with this in the middle, this on the bottom. Our 6 for this square must be in the top. Here, here, or here. Nothing up here telling me that where these is going to be, but I'll write a little 6 here, a little 6 here, and a little 6 here. This box is missing one digit, and so we do the easy part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and needs an 8. And a 9, this must be the 8. So these cannot be 8. 8 must be here or here. Oh, it can't be here because of this 8. Therefore, this must be the 8. The difficult puzzles are not this easy, obviously. And that matches with this 8 here on the right, this 8 here in the middle, this 8 on the left of these three columns. Uh, this square here is missing two numbers, the 2 and the 6. Because we have 1 and the 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 and 6. The 2 cannot be here because I see this 2 is over here on this row. Therefore, this must be the 6. Therefore, this must be the 2. This box here is missing two numbers. It has a 1, it has a 2. Oh, we figured that out. This can't be the 2. It needs a 6 and a 3. There's a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 and a 3. And we said that this, this can't be the 6, obviously, because of the 6. This has to be the 6. And we already wrote in where the 6 has to be. So which leaves us this square to be the 3. So threes can't be here or here. Threes must be here. Threes can't be. This already has a three. Three must be on the left. And it can't be in this square because of this three. So the only other left-hand square is right here. Three right there. Alright. So we cross off the seven because that can't be the seven. Because the three is taking that square. Which means the seven, this is why it's important to put where the possibilities, not the possibilities, but where the numbers must be must be 7 right here. Cross the little 7 off. So we finished our 7, which means this cannot be the 7. Cross that off. And so that means this has to be the 7, because that was the only other place the 7 could have been. Which means this is 7, which means that can't be a 6. So one of these two places has to be a 6 or a 9. And we're also missing a 2, I believe. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. So the 2. 2 cannot be here because of this 2. The 2 could be here or here. This cannot be a 2 because of this 2. The 2 must be one of these three places. We'll leave that right now until we narrow it down. This column here is missing two numbers. One here and one here. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, possibly 6 here, but it needs a 6, 7, 8, possibly a 9 here or here. So it needs a 6 or a 9, a 6 and a 9. And they have to be here or here. And yet, we're, we're still not sure. Uh, this could be the 9, and this could be the 6. So we're not going to do that yet. This 6 here tells us this could be the 6. 6 must be here, here, here. This has a 6. This has a 6. 
six must be here or here. So I'm gonna write in a little six right here. A little six right there. Let's see what else is easy. This column here is missing two numbers. This column here is missing one number. Let's do that one. One, two. It needs a three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It needs a three. This must be a three. And that works with this three in the middle and this three in the bottom. He said this column here is missing two numbers. And this row here is missing two numbers. Let's do the row first. Got a one. It needs a two. Three. It needs a four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it needs a two and a four. Can a two go here? No, because of this two. Which means this has to be the four. For this row. Which means this has to be the two. For that row. And that works this two in the middle. And this two in the right. This now, this column is only missing one digit. Which one? It's got a one, two, three, four. It needs a five. Six, seven, eight, nine. That means this has to be a five. Which means, oh, here's a five. Here's a five. Okay. This column here is missing two numbers. And this square, of course, is missing two numbers. It has a one, two, three, four. Five and it needs a six and an eight, seven, nine, six, nine, eight. Can the eight be here? No, because of this eight. Therefore, this has to be the eight, which means this must be the six. This row here now is only missing one number. Which one? It's got a one, two, three, four, five, and needs a six, seven, eight, nine. So the six must be here. Which means this cannot be that six that we thought it could have been. Nope. Because the six for this column has already been used right here. And the only other number, no, we're not going to fill that in yet. The nine could still be here. But if this is not the six and this is not that six, the six must be here. Which means that cannot be the nine, which means this must be the nine. So now we know for sure the nine is there. <clears throat> and if this is a 9, that means that this cannot be the 9, which means this must be the 9. Which works with this 9 on the top, this 9 in the middle, and this 9 on the bottom on that row. This square here is missing one number. It's got a 1, it needs a 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This must be the 2. And that works with this 2 on the right. And the 2 then must be on the left. Because this 2 means this can't be a 2. 2 must be here. And it needs a 2. So we're going to write our 2 right here. And the only other number that's missing then is either 1, 2, 3, is a 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It must be a 4. And so just to double check our column here, it's going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That all works. No problems there. And that completes our puzzle. That was simple, short and easy. Like I said, it's a basic puzzle. They can be more difficult, but I hope that you've had fun. And thank you for watching.